Welcome to Continuum, a brand new season that we're launching today. Very excited. I'm Al and my wife, Terry Purvis, and all of our wonderful gang here. And you're in our home in Siracha, Thailand, as we are spending yesterday and today, these two days, getting ready, we call it orientation, to launch a new ministry season that basically out of this home base here goes across the nations of Asia. And these are the people, the key people with us today, most of us or some of us in other places as well. But we're excited uh, about what God is speaking to us today. And so we want to let you in on what God is saying to us. not just our harvest that we're going to reap, but we're going to be able to reap a harvest for our viewers and our partners. And we're about to see the best victories that we've seen yet. That's what we're pushing into this year, I feel. I, I just want to serve. I just want other people to, to be able to, to, to do, to, to help them in, in what they want to do. Victory Bible College, right? Every, every student who graduates, they become a one way of God. Leaders seek the face of God and everything else is an outflow of that. You have that opportunity now to put the foot to the metal and say we're accelerating, we're going for it. It's so vital for us as a ministry because we can refresh each other, we can encourage each other, we can remind each other what God has promised us. You know? It is really exciting to be going into a new season, not only of Continuum, but for, of the ministry. And some tremendous changes coming up as we grow into fulfilling more of the vision that God has given us, really to reach the nations of Asia with the gospel and to, to make disciples and to plant churches. And uh, so this year, we have a theme, and it's called Make, make the, the Jump. jump. <laughs> Making the Jump. Last year, we talked about the straight up gospel, and if you missed any of those continuum episodes go back and get them on the website because we were talking about some very uh, pointed what Jesus wants to do in our lives to get us ready and we believe that we're ready you're ready and this year we're making the jump so we are making some great leaps of faith this year and um, we've got Pastor Tom Schumacher with us and he's taken over the, the Bible College and uh, so so tell us, Tom, what's happening in the Bible College. Give us an idea of some, where some of these students are coming well, from. This is going to be really exciting. we got about 20 students. We have them from the Philippines. We have them from Burma. We have them from Afghanistan, Canada, Thailand. Uh, where, where else did we have them? Yeah. India. Yeah. The China guy. China. China. Yeah. So France, France, Pakistan. I mean, we got them from <laughs> everywhere. And so this is going to be an exciting year to work with the students. And, uh, you know, we just count it an honor that God would yeah. use us to shape and mold their life. Mm -hmm. And that God would use our experiences, our understanding of all that God has put into our life. We can put it into the students. And uh, the team is excited yeah. that we can, yeah. we can pour into all these uh, students that have come. And, you know, the students are excited. Yeah. They're anticipating. They're expecting something from us. Yeah, that's right. And we are ready to give it to them. Um, some of them might not be ready, but uh, we will be ready to give it to them. So, so what, what I, you know what we should do right now? I yes. want you, if any, whoever in here has attended Victory Bible College Thailand and uh, is a product of that school, I want you to put up your hands right now. Can you do that? Wow. wow. Look at that. Renee was talking to me about this the other day, how many of our really successful and solid ministers have come out of this Bible College. They're all over the place, all across from Pakistan, uh, Cambodia, and all those places. These guys are graduates from this college. So, you know, Pastor Tom, I'm really excited about a new batch. And, and I've got to tell you, if you're not here, you're probably the only one that isn't. But, <laughs> but you need to consider coming to Bible school here in Thailand because this really is an on-ramp into a tremendous destiny in the Great Commission.
specifically it is in the areas of relationship that the areas that we're going to build leaders is through relationship first is plugging people into God then everything will flow out of that then plug the relationships with even within our church within the body of Christ because God sets the solitary into families and I really think that if you can't function within the body of Christ I don't you can't really test to see how your fruit of the spirit is really working because it's easy to be outside of the body of Christ and pretend you're really spiritual, but it's when you start rubbing shoulders with everyone else. Uh, I really just felt that this season in the ministry was a season we needed to be confident that God would fulfill the promises He placed or He'd given to us. And um, that if we had been told something in the prophetic or we'd been, you know, uh, given a dream or a vision, that now was the time for us to call those forth and to begin to believe for them and to begin to watch them manifest in the natural in the ministry so we just well I just feel that it's it's a really key season in the ministry that we're going to begin to see finances take shape in a way we've never seen before and we're going to begin to see miracles in a way we've never seen before and uh, just every area I think is going to really open in this ministry that's just how I feel. The angel comes to Mary with something that's very out of the box. Could you believe this? There's millions and billions of people that have and will live on the earth. And the angel comes to this one girl and says, you're it. Is it really possible that of all the people in the world that God would come to you and say, you're it? And we're kind of like, God, are you sure you got the right people? We have to get over the idea that God's gonna treat everybody equally. You know? He's not. He's looking for faith. He's going to bless people. It takes faith to please him. And when he sees faith, he gets excited and he responds and he comes running. And he says, I'm hooking together with you. You're it. I see that faith. He saw faith in Mary's heart. And he says, you're it, girl. Right. And, and so he's looking at it. And it's not like she was, you know, she could sit there and say, well, God, I'm not any better than any other woman. So don't pick me, you know. And we might feel like, I'm not any better than anybody else, so don't pick me. But God is saying, no, I pick you because I see faith in you. Yeah, and, and, and blessed are you among women. Listen, guys, you are blessed among all other missionaries. Right? It doesn't mean you're more special or God loves you more or anything, although I feel that he does. But, but that's where my faith is at. <laughs> I want all he's got. I don't, I don't want to lower the standard or lower my faith because somebody else's is lower. I don't want to come down to, a, to a, the status quo of everybody and say, well, no, just let me be one of the crowd. Let me be one of the multitude. And Jesus is saying, no, I want you to come out of the multitude and I want you to be a disciple because I've got a call and something to put on your life. And uh, so blessed are you, blessed are we among, among all other missions organizations. Now they're all blessed in what they're doing and praise God for that and we want to support them in that and absolutely bless them in that. But we have to realize that God has put something on us. And this is ours, guys. This is the one we have. This is the one that's in our hand. There's nothing we can do about the other guys. There's nothing we can do about that other organization or the other great evangelist that we want to be like him. Nothing you can do about that, but you can do what God has put on you. Amen. And we are blessed among all the other things that God is doing because you're it, right? And we have a vision and, and, and we're running with it and we've got a mandate. And so that's something that we're blessed with among all the other things that are going on. This is the one that we're blessed with, okay? What a sweet song. My soul magnifies Adonai and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. <laughs> I mean, the lady had such a vision of what God wanted. For imagine it, from now on all generations will call me blessed. Imagine it. This is Mary talking. She's not saying, oh, shucks, no, that's, you know, no, no, don't, don't, uh, don't talk like that. About, I'm, I'm nothing, I'm nobody. No, she says, from now on, all generations are going to call me blessed. Continuum Media is online to get you connected with your Great Commission destiny. Subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Tangle. Add us up on Facebook. Subscribe to our podcasts. And of course, check out our website, continuamedia.com. Watch episodes, catch up with the latest missions news around Asia, download tons of missions resources like Dr. Al's CLR training materials, and get our monthly newsletter right in your inbox and find out how you can get involved in God's great commission.
Stay connected with us, and we'll take you there. Remembering about five, at least five years ago now, a word that was spoken over the ministry that there was a wave that was coming that was going to hit the ministry like a wave in the ocean. And when it pulled out like a wave in the ocean, what was left behind is what was going to produce fruit, is what was going to be the good stuff. You know, like, hold on, because the shaking's not done and the wave's not all the way pulled out yet, but it will be. And, you know, you look around and we're not a huge team that we have been at times. We're not a new team that we have been at times. We're guys that we've had to rub shoulders, you know. We've had to stick through some things and get, get over ourselves. And I think, you know, now is the time where we just have to buckle up and, okay, like, let's do it. Like, now is the time to do it because it's not going to get any easier, but it's going to get better. Yeah. I know this year is a year of breakthrough, and I sense that from God. But it, sometimes it's hard to believe when you're in the middle of a lot of challenges and stuff. So, But I do believe it's a year of breakthrough, and I'm really... Um, really honored that God has chosen us at this time to be his instruments you know in this not only in Thailand but in the nations of Asia and we have an impact in the West we have a voice in the West in, in Canada USA the UK and it's such an honor that God is using us in such big ways you know and um, and I think for me I know that that's something that we just have to remember this is our year of breakthrough and that we have to stand in line with God's will. You know, we have to keep standing in line with God's will. What has God said in the past? Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean He's forgotten about it. You know, and we just, um, we just need to remember what has God promised us? Keep that in front of our eyes and stand in faith. When we've done everything else that we can do, we just, we just continue to stand until we receive the promise. And I believe that, that, that as a ministry, we're just really believing that we as a ministry are going to be a major voice in this world, not just in Thailand, not just in Syracha, not just in Canada, but in this world. It's exciting as well to see new missionaries come to the field because we are always praying. We've been praying the last couple of days again uh, just for God to release more labors. And that's a prayer that Jesus said we're to pray. And uh, so he may be talking to you, but I want you to meet Birdie today because she's just arrived, an old friend from way back, and uh, we're excited to have her here. <laughs> 34 years. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yes, I've been carrying that uh, vision in my heart. I think you've been here almost 30 years. Yes. I think it yeah, is. Nearly. And so I've been with Alan Terry from the very beginning. So if there's sometimes uh, a little bit of like friendliness and that between us, it's because I earned it. 34 years of friendship. <laughs> so I'm, um, I love them dearly. And you know, I know you guys, some of you get nervous when people say I love you that the next time they're out the door. But I've told you for 34 years that I've loved you. And I haven't once left your side. Yeah. When I saw all you young guys, <laughs> I'm so pleased to see you all grown up and just men of God. It's so wonderful. I think, um, where is the, oh, there. You, I, uh, it was what, four years old, you said? You were? Yeah. And so I saw all these little guys running around and to come back and now see them, mighty men of God, it's like totally awesome. I am so blessed by it. I am so totally blessed by you. And uh, I was going to come out then. Like I was going to come here nine years ago. I was just going to sell my home and just come out and just give my life to God and just sell out and just say, you know, that's it. But Al told me, you know, you need to stay back. I 